Hi, I'm Andy Shipsides from Able Cinetech in New York, and today we're looking at the Sony PDW700 camera and working with the clips that it, it produces with XD Cam Transfer and Final Cut Pro. That is, we're using XD Cam Transfer to take the material from the disc directly into Final Cut Pro and start editing. Additionally, we're going to show you how to write the final sequences back from Final Cut back onto the disc again. It's a very cool process. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So, it's all very computer based. What we need right away though is the XD Cam Transfer 2.8 software to work with Final Cut and the latest version of the XD Cam software available on the PDW700. So I'm going to go on the computer side here and launch XD Cam Transfer first. And what I want to do before I connect the disk or anything else is just check out my XD Cam Transfer preferences. So here in the preferences window, I want to see a couple things. One, cache, two, import. What is important? Well, the cache directory is where when the disk imports, where it's going to load all your proxy data as well as all your logging and capture information. So you may want to set this caching, this caching system before you start your project. I prefer to set it somewhere where I can find it again. It's going to warn you about resetting the cache, but that's okay with me. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the desktop and set my folder to project one. So this is going to set all my caching information into this project folder that I can save for later. Now it's going to have me restart the XDCAM transfer software. Good. Now, I'm going to set in the preferences window my import directory. Again, it's important to put it somewhere where you know you're going to have it for later, where you can find these clips when you, once you create them. So, I'm going to set this also to my desktop into a into new folder called Project One Clips. Good. Choose that. Excellent. So, now that my caching is set up, I'm going to go ahead and leave XD Cam Transfer and, and relaunch it from within Final Cut. If I, when I launch it within Final Cut, it's actually going to keep all the references between. XD Cam Transfer and Final Cut, it's going to link all the clips together for me automatically. So again, I'm going to close out of XD Cam Transfer and load up Final Cut Pro. Great. So here's Final Cut Pro loaded up on my window. Okay, now I'm going to choose to file, import, Sony XD Cam. And that again launches our Sony XD Cam Transfer software. But now you see at the bottom here it says send, cl send clips to Final Cut Pro Untitled Project. That's the name of my project right now. I haven't named it yet. And uh, you can see it's ready to send the movie clips created from these files in, right in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my disk, just like this. Close it down. And right away, because I'm connected to Firewire, it's going to load it up in my XD Cam Transfer software. Give it a second here. And scanning disk. And voila. OK. So as you can see, it's immediately importing the proxy data for each clip. It also lets me know the names of each clip. Again, as I said in the previous videos, you can change the information about the source files. You can change the, the creator, the title. You can add a status, good, keep, no good. And this information will, will transfer over into Final Cut. You can also create subclips with, with uh, individual inputs and outputs. This will, in Final Cut, transfer just individual segments of your video clips. Very easy to do. Uh, you have a lot of different options in this, in, in this uh, software viewing options and so on. But we're going to go ahead and just transfer a couple of different clips right over into Final Cut by hitting, by selecting the whole clip here and hitting Import. So that starts the process called importing. And, and, then, and you'll see it going here, 1%, 2%. What this is doing is, one, transferring the data off the disk, and two, at the same moment, converting it into a QuickTime file that can be edited in Final Cut. So I'll choose that file and I'll choose this file as well. And I'll choose this file as well. All right, our video has been imported into Final Cut here. You can, now you can see the different clips. Actually, I'll load up this one. And we can scrub through them, work with them normally. You do need Final Cut 6.0 or above to work with this, the latest XD Cam codec. Once you have that, plus the XD Cam transfer software, you're, you're in business. So as you can see, I can just drag these clips onto the timeline like normal. Uh, it will ask me to conform my timeline to fit the XD Cam codec. Sure, go ahead and do that. Great. And here's my, I can scrub through, work with it normally, and that's about it. So from here, you can edit just like normal, like you normally would in Final Cut. And when you're done editing, you can choose to export back onto the disk. And how do you do that? Well, we got, first, we got to check our sequence settings. Now, it's important that your sequence settings match what uh, the XD Cam codec accepts. So first off, you have to be your 1920 by 1080 width. It has to be the same as the XD Cam codec. You can, your compressor can be in, in various formats. So you could start in DVC Pro, for example or any other format, but you have to actually have a 1920 by 1080 frame size. Additionally, in your audio outputs, you have to set your, your audio to dual mono, not stereo. It's a 
So we're going to requirements of XD cam transfer to make that work. If you don't have it, it'll, it'll tell you you have to be in dual mono, so don't worry, it's not going to not work. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim this down a little bit here so we can, uh, so we can export this information without having a lot of render time. And there's our little clip. I'm going to choose, make sure we select the setting, choose to export it back at export Sony XD cam. And you're going to see, all right. It, it found the disk. This is my, my export sequence to disk one, my the file name, uh, big test. I want to use the XDCAM 422 1080 codec, sure. And my, my cache files are set to my local, my, to my desktop cache settings. And I'll hit export. Now this is going to directly right back to the disk so I can read it back, play it back anywhere. And this is a great way to deliver content to a network, to deliver it for finishing. Uh, it's a great quality codec in a, in a very nice format. So this is a really cool option that's just been recently added. And when this is done, we can actually check it out in XDCAM transfer, make sure it worked, play it back, and uh, re-import it again if you like to. And anyway, you want, whatever you want to do with the file, it's just a normal clip on the disk at this point. So here you go, and, and back onto the disk it goes, exporting 100% done. Great, file done, XDCAM transfer, hey, look. There it is, our big test one. It's a name, a name I gave it. It actually created a proxy file on the export as well. So again, it's just like a normal clip that pops up on the disk, uh, and we can use it any way we want. All right, well, I think that really concludes the transferring back and forth process. Uh, you're always welcome to come in and check it out here at Able Cinetech. Uh, we appreciate you, you coming in and, and asking questions. Uh, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time.